Hi, James Page here with Topo Labs. I'd like to show you some parts made using our new improved FDM techniques, including 3D toolpaths. I'll also show you a comparison with parts made with conventional flat layer FDM. Here's a small case part made using conventional FDM with flat layers. Here's a part made using Topo Labs techniques. Okay, now to show the conventional build. Uh, this is showing toolpaths made with slicer. It's printing in flat layers. And here's what the build looks like when it's finished. Notice the stair steps in the layers. Okay, now the Topo Labs style build with 3D toolpaths actually starts out with the system automatically generating any flat layers you need, for example, for steep sides, which is what it's printing now, plus any support material that you might need in the middle. Uh, this is showing the flat sides and the support material being built at the same time. Okay, now here it is finishing up. Um, it's finishing up the support material in the middle. Now once the support material has been finished, you typically add a release layer. So in this case I put Kapton tape on the release, or uh, excuse me, on top of the support material in the middle as you can see there. You can also use hairspray or a variety of other easy uh, release materials. And what that does is it just keeps the uh, material that we're adding to the top from sticking to the support material, but it does stick to the outside layers. So what you see here is the system is actually moving in all three directions at once. Notice the Z axis going while the X and Y axes are going. And it's laying down material along three dimensional paths. There it goes up and over the curve. And there it is finishing up. After completing the first layer, what it does is it goes around and creates some perimeters. These are also done in 3D. This material is being applied in very thin layers, uh, which results in a very flexible structure. There's just two 0.25 millimeter layers. Okay, and here go the final perimeters, and here's the finished part. Now we're on to applying some graphics. So just like applying the 3D layers on top. To do this I actually started with a sketch. Uh, you can even use a hand sketch and scan it in or take a photo of it. And the system will turn that into nice line art that you can put on any surfaces, either 2D or 3D surfaces. Here I am finishing up the outlines and then for one part of it I decided I wanted to make a solid raised layer. So here it is, it's sort of like one ray of the sun there. Just drawing some outlines around it after filling it in and uh, it'll actually be three layers thick. Okay, here it is, I think finishing up the third layer. And a final outline. And the part is finished, so let's remove it. Notice you can use that support material to print another part if you'd like. Here's a close-up of the part. Notice that there's a very nice fabric-like texture. Here's a comparison with the Topolabs part to the conventionally built part. Notice the difference in the top surfaces. Here's a close-up of the top surface of the conventional part. And you can compare that to this close-up, same magnification of the top of the Topolabs part. 
Here's a different view. And that's it. Thanks for watching and please check us out at topolabs.com.